Why hello my friends and enemies, my name is Sir James Insane, and two days ago, literally, history was remade, as Sledgehammer Games confirmed the existence of Call of Duty World War II. And they even gave us a date for the reveal trailer. But, before I go on... Call of Duty's gone back to its roots! The series is saved! Right? Well, at least that's how most people are acting. You know, it's pretty funny. All it takes is a setting just to reel them in. And I don't mean it in a bad way, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying, we don't know much about the game, other than these screenshots we got back here. And as amazing as they may look, they don't really say much. Now, now before anybody thinks so, I'm not hating. I'm not doubting uh, Sledgehammer Games Studios' ability to make a good game at all. I thought uh, Advanced Warfare was pretty damn good. And I, you know, I'm sure they can make this game really good too. But, to be honest, I do feel that the Call of Duty fans and the Call of Duty community in general can be pretty confusing a high majority of the time. And that could be a problem for developers, you know, who are trying to listen to, uh, you know, feedback and all that stuff. Um, sometimes they want this, sometimes they want that, and sometimes they, you know, go back on what they, you know, it, it, it could be pretty toxic. But, me being a fan myself, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty excited for this game. Now, along with the confirmation, Sledgehammer Game Studios' Michael Condry, who is one of the co-founders, uh, made a video. Pretty much in this video, he's talking about how he and the team are excited for us to get, you know, a hold of this game. The usual, you know. But, in the video, he also happens to mention it that he's in a specific location, the Churchill War Room, which uh, is a bunker, or used to be a bunker during World War II. And it so happens to have some pretty important World War II background, so I'm pretty sure we're gonna see this place in, uh, at some point in the game. And Michael Condry, and Michael Condry also happens to mention that he and his team did a lot of research to make sure this game was as accurate as possible, which is honestly pretty good. At least we can look forward to a, you know, old style, pristine, new Call of Duty set in World War II, an accurate World War II. Plus, with the more recent Call of Duty uh, games, like campaign structures, you know, like Infinite Warfare, Black Ops 3, even Black Ops 2, the campaign structure is a lot different than how it used to be. Now we have features like uh, side quests, optional and alternate objectives, things like that. And all these things can really make for a really in depth uh, World War II experience, one that we've never had in any Call of Duty game before. And let's be honest, multiplayer is most likely boots to the ground at this point. But I'm really wondering, is this really like an old style Call of Duty with just uh, better controls, like the more modern controls, uh, smoother, you know, feel, better graphics, things like that. And I'm sure many hope that's what it is. I myself wouldn't mind. But if Sledgehammer Games were to do something a little different, you know, maybe make things a little bit spicier, I wouldn't mind that either. And the bonus mode is most likely uh, zombies again, which I'm not sure many fans would mind. Plus, the World War II era would definitely make it super appealing for fans who either haven't gone through it or fans who are definitely looking for like that nostalgia trip. Like it, it, it definitely would be a really cool thing to see. You know, World War II zombies come back like that. But maybe, just maybe, a new type of bonus mode would be a warm welcome just to add something new and fresh to the table. That and I also think that the round based survival bonus mode is getting a little bit overdone. But deep down I know, I know, Treyarch fans, including myself, we're just praying and hoping for some World War II zombies in 2018. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed me talking about uh, Call of Duty World War II now that it's confirmed. And Call of Duty's gone back to its roots. Literally. Uh, that's super exciting for a lot. Me, I'm, I'm waiting to see what happens. I'm pretty excited though. And the last, my ideas for an alternate World War II in Call of Duty are dead for now. And only three days left for the reveal trip. I will be checking that out. And hopefully, I'll be able to check it out with you guys and give you my insight, you know, give you, you know, a little bit of a breakdown. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and my thoughts on Call of Duty World War II. And don't forget to like if you like, subscribe for more. Why wouldn't you want more? 
Why not have more? Please have more. I'm Sir James Insane, and until next time, stay sane. <laughs>